Oh my god, is it just like fucking earthbound? Like, can I just walk around town now? The library? <gasps> Chris, you survived Susie? I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. <laughs> How to draw dragons is 2583 days overdue. No, However, no. Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn in, in, in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 64.23. Consider it, Chris. What a smug asshole. What? Also, look at that fucking face. His head has just turned all the way around. <laughs> hey, Grizz, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on a project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Very e cool. I love soccer. Gotta love it. Anime review, read it. Teens Corner, monthly tune review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. God, this reviewer no. had Mew this reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. And with a dumpster story with a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of like an animal that'll die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention it, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Who could it be? Tammy, I love you. Gotta go to college. So Tim Stubby. Horde. She's <laughs> reading a comic full of hot demon guys. She okay. says it out loud because it's important. <laughs> I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Well, I can't because of your big ass head. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you should interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Toby Fox, you piece of shit. Wait, is there was there a trust the dog thing from? No, Toby Fox always like his avatar is always the dog from. Uh... <sighs> Dude, From I can just explore Earth the whole town. fucking town? What? Talk to Undyne! Oh, is this- Oh, I forgot Undyne's voice! What was it? it was like, oh, it was, it was hey, just like punk, a cute, cute get out girl. Of the road. Yeah. Hey, punk, get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little uh, worked up lately. This job's so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Help you. Yeah. Alfie's? Aw, oh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them! Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we're Asgore's kid? I guess. That's huh? weird, because we're Toriel's kid, too. And Toriel and Asgore, like, weren't on super good terms. <laughs> oh, man. Al Alfie's? Who's Alfie's? No idea who you're talking about. Hold on a second. Hey, Riz. Hey, Did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alfie's, I'll tackle him. <laughs> you're as good as dead. Dark World? There's some shit going on here, dude. I don't like it. I don't like it. There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. There's some shit going on here. I don't like it. Police chief I know supposed he was... to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the goddamn street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, though. I feel really directed. <laughs> also, that guy was in the first game, but I don't know where from. But the this other guy? guy was the guy that bought the... Yeah, the guy in the green car is from the first game, but I don't know where. The other guy, though, uh, that's hanging out of his window with his arm out is the guy who bought the spider donut and was like, I spent all my money. <laughs> I don't know why. <sighs> okay, here we go. Hello. 
Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Oh. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that uh, to her. Oh yeah, she has like a little bit of a lisp. Oh, oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. No well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and smacked her right on her dope tush. Really? Yep. Yeah. She slapped my tush so hard I blacked out. I'm still concussed. That's why I'm in here. <laughs> oh, Dad, that doesn't help at all. Also, please stop. Mom's gonna keep hurting you. <laughs> you gotta tell the police. You gotta press charges, Dad. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers three? Beat it yet? I beat Dragon Blazers three when I was seven, Dad. Don't you remember? <laughs> I'm no, still at the no. I'm, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of a uh, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, well, maybe you shouldn't wait. Oh, shit. D Dad. You should bring it here! I'm bored as hell, kid! <laughs> oh, thank God! I thought you were implying that you're planning on dying soon. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Homework. <laughs> oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Ha, uh, Dad, you're, even, you're not even supposed to get up. Also, he'd kick your little fucking weak ass fucking... J j j you'd cough yourself to death before he ever let a finger on you, piece of shit. Um, Bring him to the window. I'll tell him... I'll, I'll tell your mom that she, he said something bad about her when she's here visiting. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. You should probably not be in the hospital room. Not really family. No. <laughs> hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why, are you just staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? Oh, it's, it's a chair. It's an age with ball. Great. Right, Angel. Noel and Jess made it in a youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh, right. You and Az tried to make one, too. But you tested the wasted the whole time making huge wins for it. Oh, wait, no, dude. This is a prequel to Undertale. Wait, how? Oh, you and Azzy made it. Asgore, uh... Chris? This must be before they went... They were forced underground? That's is Chris strange. Dirt Quo? I don't think he is. In fact, I'm pretty sure Chris isn't dirt quo. Okay. You wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. This is this is before they got separated, though, not after. Now, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler, but like, you remember there were two uh, two humans. There was one that was uh, Asgore's kid that died in the yellow field, like yeah. the flowers, and then there was Dirt Quo, who was confused for him the whole time. Yeah. Uh, he wears the same color shirt in Undertale as no, he does uh, yeah, in this I'm game. No, yeah, I'm saying, so, like, I'm saying, but, when, when I said, is, is, is Chris Dirtco, I'm saying, like, yeah, is Chris the guy that Frisk was mistaken for? Maybe so. Is this, is, I think Frisk might be the guy that Asriel was mistaking Frisk for, which is why I used Dirtco and not Frisk. And that would also explain why Undyne is just like, oh, yeah, you're as... You're Asgore's kid, because yeah. he did have a human and a and like a boss monster kid before. Uh, but that seems a little strange though, because I don't think they were forced underground at that time. I don't know, dude. Because they had to, because they had to pass through the barrier to get to the outside world where the humans were to. And that's when he was yeah. killed. Asgore and yeah, the, the humans and the monsters weren't like tight back then. Right. So I don't and know. And also, like they were super not cool with humans during Undertale. 
Especially uh, Undyne. Yeah. Is this like an alternate universe where like humans and monsters Maybe got along the whole time and then Chris Maybe never so. died? That's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Let's check out the town hall, dude. This is a giant fucking town. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. An honest cool day. There must be a reason you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Alvin from the drawing of the turtle. Yeah, and the chipmunks. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should uh, meet me behind the church at midnight tonight. Our choir is a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it'd be wonderful if you could sing with us. Or even participate to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink fruit juice! Pastor, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> this, is this yellow flowers, Pat? A field of yellow flowers? And no, no, there's a the trees. That looks like a passage to the underground. Hmm... This is such a... I don't like how long that hallway is, dude. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Go back. There's something right there. You can see it in the trees, oh. the like little black... Whatever. Is that a sign or something? I can't interact with it. It might just be a, a, gl a graphical glitch. No, it's, it's, there's really a thing there, because when I move, it's in the background. Can you face towards it from the bottom and read it? Like a sign? No. I'm standing in front of it. I, I think it might just be like that the the floor tile is slightly different is what it looks like. Fuck, dude. I just... Oh. You worst game. I just don't understand. Okay. Historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Muddler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Because there was the Shiren in the other game. Yeah, Shiren, one of the doggos, one of the frozy boys. I don't know. And the hammer would be... I don't know, baby. I don't know. I can't, I can't slip in. I can't slip into the church. Mm. Maybe you can slip around back, get that fruit juice, that hot hot fruit juice. <gasps> oh, fuck, dude. What... <laughs> Give him, give him, make it so that like he's, it sounds like he has jowls and like his, he's constantly chewing on his, on his cheeks while he talks. Hey, sorry, sir. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? <laughs> Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? <laughs> God, that fucking jowl chewing. Chewing, I'm gonna hate editing that. Lost your frisbee in the wash. <clears throat> hey, sorry, stuff. That's what the cops are for. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're a cute bear, mister. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. Uh -huh. but she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. R rarely. Oh, yeah, he's the one that was like, when something happens, a skeleton tells the fish about it. That's politics. <laughs> I think that was the previous game. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, that's you. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, I'm I, sorry. The, the mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Like maybe don't put out the fountain. Yeah, I know about that shit. Kick the chair. Wait, is that a that crisis? A, huh? What's that a picture of in the back? That's the town. Hmm. Hmm. It's, the, it's a map of the town. Hmm. Let's check. Oh, I already checked that at the hospital. <gasps> Police tape is blocking the raid. The way. The tape simply reads. Also, the fish uh, floor mat is was in front of uh, Undyne's house in the last game. Is this is this papyrus? Papyrus is going to be there. Wait, what did it say? Uh, I don't know. It seems like the police aren't really feeling it. Someone came up to the blinds and closed it. Hmm. But I bet Papyrus Wait, is in there. Wait, I'm not really feeling up to it is uh, what um, Napstablook said. Oh. 
I think. <gasps> it's your boy! He says. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sand. Sand the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain about... Uh, complain to the guy who runs it. Okay, hey. Sans. Can you still talk to him? Yeah. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Yes. Wow, you answer quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh. Or, huh? Uh, what are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. <laughs> it's just going to be my little brother. And you. Oh, God. He needs a friend. Thanks for hanging out with him. God! See ya. Yeah, that's pretty fucking sans. <laughs> we just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone you should, or I should know better? My mom. My mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. Too late. <laughs> I already befriended your mom last night. <laughs> God. She's great. Come to the store to buy a lot of chocolate kisses. Says she's got to lock her door to stop them from, or stop you from eating them. <laughs> you should try a fun. Or you sound like a fun kid, huh? Fuck off, Sans. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. Ah, the bone trousel. I get it. It's a funny, uh -huh. hilarious joke. You fucking see that guy up there? Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? My mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Hey! That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking! Uh, sounds you haven't like gotten better yet. Practice makes perfect! Sounds like you should go knocking on more doors. Yo! Yo, Chris! You survived Susie, haha! -ha. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but, uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, Snowy and Joggington were playing handball? And she just kept creepily watching from the other corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then, Undyne came out, smiled, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. <laughs> anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alfie's. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skip class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Snowy, what I told you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really going to hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. That makes, makes a good solid point. I'm just concerned about you is <gasps> all. Oh, Chris, Chris, you're okay. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. <laughs> you're not in trouble or anything. I'm in trouble, <laughs> though. I mean, honestly. Anyway, let me know if you need anything. What you got there? What you got it's there, dirty trash can. What's in this trash can? It's a dirty trash can. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Oh, Chris. Did, did you want to talk about something? What are these flowers? Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, uh, always asks how you're doing in school, then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that always gives... That... Actually, that... He always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he... If he likes... If he likes... The awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, <laughs> he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and can kick my ass. 
the fucking face <laughs> when she said it. There's all some comments that I lent to him. Mm -hmm. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow... Um, my... Homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. You know the sitcom about the middle class monster family? They're all yellow skinned. Yeah. <laughs> I put in the episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, <laughs> most quotable show ever for the first three seasons. Anyway, make sure you don't watch past the second season. They're just a rebooted system turbo and they're always driving their motor vehicles and fighting giant jagged and stuff. The main problem about that is that's kind of lost the focus of the family that had it all earlier. And the vehicles were shaped like animals and they were real friends. Animal vehicles and let's not get into Symptoms Galaxy Force where the Symptoms discover another Earth on the other side of the... Uh, wouldn't the gravitational field just, huh? God, kill me. <laughs> you don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Is, is it... What's in this saucer? universe, the Simpsons got turned into Power Rangers? D did they? <laughs> That's what he's saying. Oh, oh Chris, shit. did you want to talk about something? Give me the. Tell me about the saucer. Only oh, a saucer full of milk gets for m my kitty Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. What does she look like? Um, well, I've never seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat. Wait, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie too was reviewed in the library, but Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 didn't come out until... until they were in the underground. I do not know where this shit fits in. Hmm. Is it that Chris is... Is it... I don't know. Is it that Chris is... Frisk? That, like... Well, what's like his face? Alternate universe, kind of... No, I'm saying, like, is it a thing where, like, Asgore resurrected, or someone resurrected Chris hmm. using a human soul or something? So for you two yeah. girls, that'll be the crepes, the cinnamon latte, two bunny buffets, and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up, too. No, that servant drinks, drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental, now would it? If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. You could serve coffee. Oh, that's you true, could just dude. serve coffee. That that's the only thing. <laughs> dude, remember when we used to skip class for uh, the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat a year cause of it. Those crepes were mad worth though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Truth. Ice Wolf does oh! not like ice and drink. <laughs> Ice Wolf like ice. Do be drink. Oh, Ice Wolf from the first game on the ice. Looking at my ragged bunny, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you're alive. Nice. I'm working. Okay. Oh, uh, we'll take the special. And do you have any edible glitter? The youngest won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Oh, and he was a businessman in the last game, and he was away from his family, but now he's, yeah, like, with his family? And sprinkles will work, too. Hmm. <laughs> also, that's the rabbit from the first game. Hey there, she was in one of the shops. In a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then... Y'all stopped coming on all together. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. Oh, it's if if it's Azra if it's it's what would happen if Azrael had died. Oh. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you'd sue sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hon. Oh, this is the Undertale UI. Yeah, that is straight up the Undertale uh, menu. Ball of junk. Is it? Is it like a complete flip? That instead of the human dying and the monsters being underground? Like maybe if it's the, if the monsters had won the war and forced the humans underground? There's no oh. humans anywhere. Yeah, there aren't for, any humans except, except for, Chris. for Chris. And Chris won't show his face. And the human fell down 
and the human fell down into the underground, which is how the whole Undertale thing happened. But this is like the reverse, where a human wandered out of the underground from the humans? Maybe? Mm. Mm. 